You know, Patrick, on the way over here to the studio, I was thinking about a story that I really want to share. Sure. It made a big impact on me. When I was young, I used to listen to someone named Earl Nightingale. Many times. And he used to tell a story about a speaker, writer named um, Russell Conway, I believe. That's right. Russell Conwell. Conwell. Yeah. Now, Russell Conwell, millennials that are watching may wonder now, why would I be telling a story about somebody that was born in 1843 really? <laughs> and he died in 1925? Really, an old dead dude, you know? <laughs> yeah, old dead dude. The, the baby boomers like me will, will understand that there's really some valuable things to be learned from the past. Russell Conwell told a story called Acres of Diamonds that really relates to what we're going to talk about today, monetizing your mind. And in this story, this was actually a speech that Russell Conwell gave like 6,000 times. He turned it into a book. He used it as a fundraiser to found a, coll a college. I believe it was Princeton in Philadelphia. But anyway, Russell Conwell told this story called Acres of Diamonds. And in the story, he told about a man who lived in South Africa who was a farmer. And this farmer had dreams of becoming wealthy. He wanted wealth. And he heard all these great stories about people discovering gold nuggets and diamonds. And he said, man, I would really love to have a diamond mine. If I could find diamonds, that would be so much better than being a farmer. So he sold his farm and he left, took off searching the world, died in poverty, died broke. In the meantime, the guy that bought his farm was out walking one day and he saw something glinting by the edge of the stream. And it turned out to be a diamond in the rough. And it turned out that one of the largest diamond mines in South Africa was on the farm that this guy sold. And the point that Russell Conwell made in Acres of Diamonds was that we all have acres of diamonds in our own backyard. And I want to narrow that down even more. Not in our own backyard. We all have a fortune between our ears. And so many people are looking for a guru, looking for someone telling them what they should do without realizing the value they have themselves. And so what we're going to be talking about the next few weeks today and, and the next few programs is about how to get that value out of your mind, how to get the intellectual property that you have in your mind and monetize it and turn it into a stream of income. Well, I know that one of the things that you're exceptionally good at is breaking down a complex idea into its components. So it's a little bit like taking the puzzle back apart and saying, here are the parts, and then bringing them together and showing people how to put the puzzle together in a way that makes a lot of sense. If you were to sit there and say, you know, the four basic concepts that we want to cover during these shows of, of Monetize Your Mind, those would end up being what? Well, the first one is understanding what the value you have in your mind is. It's more, and we'll talk about this in the next segment, but it's more than just your knowledge. There is a lot of value that each person gains through their experience and their lifetime that we'll talk about. And then you can take that value and use it to create content. I mean, the world is really hungry for content. Mm -hmm. On the internet, it's easy. You can build a website, but unless you have content in that website, it's really rather useless. So how do you take what you have, how do you take the intellectual property that you have in your mind and turn it into content that the world wants? And then how do you take that content, the third section, and begin to repurpose it in various ways, reuse it in ways that will be effective and ways that people will want? 